Hello everyone. So this here is an ESP32. It's on right now. It's running off of this 18650 cell, and it's just wired to this LED. Just gonna put it in here, in front of you, so it's wireless. And this is a little GUI that I created, and it has an on button. When you click on that on button, as you can see, the LED is on, off on off green off is red and when I click it on this button a message is sent so I made some random messages to be sent whenever I'm, I'm clicking on this button and so this is a two-way communication between my laptop running Python and the SP32 over Wi-Fi so let's see how it's done this is a small GUI that I created to interact with an ESP32 and to demonstrate how a two-way communication between an ESP32 and a Python script running on, running on your laptop, running on a Raspberry Pi, whatever, anything that can run Python, you can run that script on it and it could communicate uh, with an ESP32 uh, via Wi-Fi. So uh, the way it's implemented is using sockets and uh, yeah so basically we're not using any uh, libraries or anything on the python side so this is a very simple GUI that's created using tkinter which is which is python's uh, like default library for uh, graphical user interfaces and that's why what GUI stands for by the way so it has a simple button and a label we have just a thread that's uh, listening for messages that that's listening for incoming messages that and it would update this uh, text here let's say you have two threads so these two threads would be python would be like switching uh, between both of them so that you think that you're running them in parallel but you're running them pseudo parallelism so they're not really in parallel they're both running on a single core but still you are, you have perceived concurrence uh, if you need real concurrence and real parallelism you need to use multiprocessing on, on python the main communicator or the wi-fi communicator it uses sockets and i defined here a uh, in message and out message classes so in message incoming message and outgoing message and these messages are like Mainly, I could have made these just strings, normal variables, but I wanted to uh, have the interface with this uh, Wi-Fi communicator as expandable as possible without breaking it. So you don't have to uh, modify a lot of code in order to add some flags and other variables in your uh, sending and receiving uh, procedures. So uh, yeah, that's nice. Uh, otherwise, so the Wi-Fi communicator, uh, really simple thing, it has a maximum buffer, so the maximum length of uh, bytes, in bytes, uh, that could be received at once. So uh, that's the maximum buffer uh, size. This is the uh, the port that, that through it will communicate, so in order to establish communication, Wi-Fi communication with anything, you need always the IP address and the port. You can change this, just keep in mind, if you change it in here, you have to change it as well on the ESP32 side. They need to be the same. Basically how it works is that we have a sending queue and uh, an, and a receiving queue. And queues are a data structure that is a queue. So when you have like a restaurant and there's a queue in front of it, whoever comes first gets served first. And you can make uh, these queues as big as you want on the Python side. Uh, you can define that by the max size. But by default, I made it so that it's an infinite uh, queue. So we have one thread that sends and one thread that listens. And to interact with these two threads, as you can see, the, these are like private methods. So you're not supposed to interact directly with these threads. You have this simple interface so you either request a message from the uh, from the communicator so if there is a message that uh, that was received 
i.e. it exists on the uh, incoming queue you get it as well as the sending uh, like if you want to send message to the ASP32 or any other uh, microcontroller or any other listening party you put it in the uh, outgoing messages queue and the sender thread will uh, will know that there's a uh, a message to be sent and it will send it that's basically it on the python side now for the esp32 side uh, as you as you saw in the uh, demo i had a uh, list of messages random really random messages just wanted to to show you that there's something that's that uh, that's happening so uh, just put in like 10 random messages and I randomly choose whenever like the button is clicked I randomly choose one of them and send them to the uh, Python side first we set up Wi-Fi communication we com we connect to the Wi-Fi we, we do not do that on the Python side because you you're already connected uh, like since you open your PC or, or you're already connected through the OS or whatever yeah if we're not connected we we keep on trying to connect to the client this is a blocking line we cannot go past this line and then we start receiving messages as you can see it's the same interface as I said get message get message as you can see if we received an N we light that uh, LED on otherwise we uh, if we received F or which stands for off we uh, turn it off and by the way I chose to send N, N and F for these two actions but you can do whatever you want it's up to you how to define uh, the uh, the protocol that we use to communicate between these two if the button is clicked so th if there's a rising uh, a rising edge on the button what we do is that we choose a random uh, index and uh, we choose one of these random messages that that are here and what we do as I said the same interface we have send message just like in Python we have send message and we send it to the uh, Python side like like I did on the Python side with the threads I did here with the uh, tasks the Artos tasks so Artos is a really big uh, subject to tackle and if you you're not uh, familiar with it it could be uh, such like a daunting uh, topic to tackle there is a really great tutorial or series of tutorials done by Sean Heimel I'm sorry if I purged your name I highly recommend that uh, tutorial but if you don't wanna know how Artos works or anything as I said it's a simple interface you send messages and you get messages and that that's it if you wanna like treat this uh, the script as a black box I did that for you if you want to understand how it works under the hood it's okay we have two queues it's exactly the same way it's implemented exactly the same way as implemented in Python we have two queues the send queue and the receive queue and these queues like when you call send message you append or you add to the sending queue and when you call get message you receive from the receiving queue you get a message from the receiving queue and we have a sender task and a receiver task which both just like check the receive the sender task ch checks if there is a message in the sending queue and if there is it just prints it into the client or sends it to the client otherwise on the receiver task and it just keeps on checking if there's any data available on the client side and if the, it is available it reads it and it sends it into the received queue and that's basically it and yeah very basic stuff here it is uh, this is a an ESP32 board that I had a uh, client I had I did like a project for a client and it has the sim uh, 7000g module which is a 4g uh, module probably you're fam you're more familiar with the sim 800 module which only does 2g so this does 4g it's it's a, it's a really cool board but it's at the end it's an ESP32 S2 with uh, 
some additional ports and stuff and most importantly a holder for uh, an 18650 battery with an on, an on off switch and I just like hooked some uh, some of the, its pins to uh, an RGB LED and if I open the GUI again again if I click hopefully it works it doesn't work so why is that oh, probably because I turned off so I need to launch it again so let me just run this okay so turned on it's on turned off it's off and as you can see it starts off with no messages but when I click a random message hi okay two more to go this is really stupid these messages are really stupid but so let's try to guess which one so probably I would say I don't know I have no idea and I have no way of telling but I'll bet on so what so hold up ah, it sent this message anyway so guys uh, this is two-way communication between an ESP32 and a Python script really small GUI just like probably it will uh, probably you can start like a remote uh, remotely controlled robot with a GUI like this or whatever you want basically uh, hopefully you find this uh, video helpful you hopefully you find the code more helpful than the video because I know my videos suck and the quality is not there hopefully it will be better but I'm mainly like busy all the time so I don't know I'm not uh, I'm not doing this uh, YouTube I'm not taking this YouTube thing seriously I'm just doing it for fun and whenever like I find a uh, a cool project I just do it and share it online because I like sharing my work so yeah see you guys in the next video and keep on hacking on stuff and by the way guys uh, the uh, the project is on github of course you can find it all uh, in the video description so 